I'm pretty lazy, so I like to automate things where possible. Um, and I found a way to help automate the CRP for cleaning my fermenter and also my grain farmer G30. If you're interested, stay tuned. Welcome to um, Shutting Down the Town Homebrew. This is my channel about beer and homebrewing. Uh, well, this is CR, uh, Kegland's new mini CRP rotor. It's only come out in the last couple of weeks, but I bought one because I've been keeping my eye out for something similar. So I'm pretty lazy and I don't like cleaning um, things by hand where I can help it. So having a CRP on my grandfather and also one for my fermenter will mean that I could just pretty much put chemicals and heat it up in the vessel and then press start the pump and walk away. So that's my intention here. G'day guys. What I'm gonna try and do is use Kirkland's new mini rotor attach it to some silicon tubing to the top of my fermenter so I can clean and sanitize it. Um, have this bull lock valve onto this 25 watt pump with this adapter connection and that which will attach to the silicon tubing and then on the bottom of the fermenter out of my sample port it will exit through this piece of silicon tubing into this which will go into the pump and i'm going to use teflon tape around all the joints okay hey guys i now have my fermenter hooked up to the um, cip mini rotor it's going through my sample tap into the pump, out of the pump, into the top of the fermenter. So let's turn on the pump and try it. Oh, it sounds like it's working. <laughs> Unfortunately, um, it's a stainless steel lid, you can't see through it, so we'll have to open it. Oh, yes, that's uh, definitely working. I I'm impressed with that. It's going through my sample tap, through the pump, out into the top of the fermenter with the mini CRP um, rotor, and it's working. It'll be interesting to see whether it cleans the crowds and afterwards, after the fermentation's finished. G'day guys. I've got the Kegland's new mini spray ball attached to the recirculation um, on my grandfather. And the grandfather pump is powerful enough to run it. Surprisingly, it works really well, I'm impressed. Pretty impressed by this little device and it does appear to work. Um, so the next test will be in a couple of weeks time, I've got a batch in my fermenter and I want to determine whether this is um, powerful enough to remove the krausen from the fermenter. But it looks promising, so I'll get back to you in a couple of weeks with and give it a test on that. But at the moment, I'm pretty happy with how this performed. It seems to work well on my grandfather at 6 watt pump and also on my fermenter as well with the 25 watt pump. Uh, thanks for watching, and if you like what you saw, hit like. Please subscribe if you want to get an update on more videos. And once again, thanks for watching. Cheers.